So this is how you are going to collect the blood sample. You insert 15 to 45 degree angle deep into the vein. Then what you do, you apply pressure on the tip of the needle. So this is how you are going to collect the blood sample. Hi there, welcome back in today's video. In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can simply perform venibanja procedure or phlebotomy. So today I want to show you how you can simply perform venibanja for obese patient, a patient with a difficult vein to find. So before you start, make sure you gather all the necessary equipment for you to perform the procedure. For instance, you may need a syringe. You will need a syringe for you to collect the blood sample. You will need a 21 gauge needle or a 23rd gauge needle for you to insert into the vein. Depends on the size of the vein you are going to collect the blood. You will need a cotton wool for you to apply pressure on the area where you have given the shot. You will need a hand sanitizer for you to clean your hand or to clean the vein. You will need examination gloves for you to wear or to use as a tunicule. Okay, before you start, make sure you start by introducing yourself to the patient. Make sure you explain the procedure to the patient. You gain consent for you to continue. Then what you do, first is start by cleaning your hand with a hand sanitizer. Make sure you clean your hand first with a hand sanitizer. Make sure you clean your hand first with a hand sanitizer. Then you wear the gloves. Make sure you wear the gloves first. Then what you do, you get a tiny cue, you apply a tiny cue on the patient's hand. First, make sure you apply a tiny cue. Then what to do, you have to do a lot of retraction. So when you see here, there's no any feasible vein. So I just want to show you the simple trick and tips for you to apply so that you can simply get the vein for you to collect the blood sample. So as you know, we have different types of veins that we always uh, perform venibanja. We have an antecubital vein that is front of the elbow. So this is the only vein we always collect blood. We also have cephalic vein that is the lateral portion of the front of the elbow. We also have the basilic vein. But we use the antiguital vein for us to collect the blood sample. Make sure you feel. First, the, the first step you are supposed to do is you have to feel the vein. Make sure you feel and balbate the vein. Then what you do, you get an alcohol swaps or a hand sanitizer. First, make sure you clean the area where you are going to take the blood sample. Then you get the syringe, you remove the syringe from the packaging, you get, let me use uh, the 23rd gear needle, then you attach the syringe into the needle, then what you do, so make sure you do a lot of retraction, you retract back the skin for the vein to be visible for you. Then what you do, you remove the cap of the needle. So this is how you are going to collect the blood sample. You insert 15 to 45 degree angle deep into the vein. Then what you do, you apply pressure on the tip of the needle. So this is how you are going to collect the blood sample. I hope you can see it's very simple. This is how we are going to perform venibanja, especially on difficult veins. 
then when you finish, you release the tiny cube first. Then what you do, you get a cotton wool, you apply on the area where you have given the shot, you remove the needle from the vein, when you suck the patient to hand. So this is how you are going to perform filibutamine or vinibanja on difficulty venous. I hope you can see. It's a very simple procedure. So I hope you find the video very helpful. So please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and give your comment to this video. Thanks for your watching. See you in the next video.